Jojo to uh, yeah. start it off. Right, how did you feel about winning this at DC for Yeah, happy. It was, um, it was a good game in terms of the, the, the atmosphere in the stadium, the fans. It's the, the big thing you come over here, I think, to appreciate the size of Everton and Celtic and the Premier League. Um, and it's nice to win a game. Nice to get to penalties. Nice to see young players want to stand up and take them. They all did. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased with, with elements of the game. Tough game, you know. We've got a bit of jet lag in our in our body still. Celtic were a bit more prepared on that front, and uh, thought we showed a lot of lot of spirit and um, happy. Obviously, you've got a full squad to uh, pull from Eva, so I mean, you changed the formation and Isaac Price was starting. So I'm going to take that as well as a result of the players that you can pick and yeah. take it. Price coming in for Tom Davis because he was injured. Well, I would have played Isaac anyway because he's training really well. Um, in recent weeks playing well and training well with us but with Tom out that meant we were, had to go to a back three today with no other midfield players and obviously then when Dukes gets injured in at half time then we're playing wingers in midfield um, so that's where we're at you know obviously some players at the World Cup Alex is with his national team so that we're okay once we get back and everyone fit to a degree but um, I suppose it gives an opportunity enough for Isaac Price was the best player on the pitch yeah, I mean what did you think about the, the attacking players obviously for most of it was a case of sitting back Pressure. They did create chances as mm. well. Yeah, I think that the, the idea to sit back, I think a back five against the possession team, Celtic are, it, it means you're going to have to sit back. It wasn't the worst tactic for us today because of the jet lag and the travel and all those things. I think to try and play a high press would be a difficult ask of the players, dry, hot conditions. So um, it meant the game plan was, was pretty clear. And yeah, we created, i say, the best chances of the game. So we had a couple of good ones second half, didn't they? But until, uh, until half time, we created two of the best chances of the game. And then again, in the second half, we had really good moments. And typically at the minute, it's the last pass or the last shot that's not, not going our way. Are you confident what you've seen in training even over here has been some progress in that? I don't want to answer that with a no. <laughs> but but the, the lads have travelled, you know, like you know, a, a whole day. We've had sessions just getting legs going. It's not like we've... we've Overanalyze a certain area of our game. It's, this week's not for that. It's to, to, to play, get minutes in for players. Um, and of course, we know that we, we need to improve in front of goal in terms of our clinical nature. When we create, we have to score more and, and then we can create more. Um, and some of that is improving and some of that will be the help that we get in January. Yeah, how did Mino respond to the first 45 minutes we've seen back on the pitch? Uh, he felt his hamstring a little bit, so we're going to have to scan that one. He's going to need a scan? Yeah. Uh, it feels more like um, a bang just above the knee as opposed to a knee injury that you'd worry about so much. So we're hoping it, it may be OK for, for the game on Wednesday, or if not, it's not hopefully a, a severe knee injury. Away from the experience of the match day, I mean, last few days, seeing the Blues everywhere, must be really the support come out all the way over here. Yeah, I thought the support was great for both teams today. You know, you, you expect it, I think, with the size of the clubs. They're both huge clubs, and um, we appreciate it very much that we're supported on the other side of the world people that watch us in the middle of the night over here or early mornings, whatever it is. Um, it's a small world these days. So it's nice that we can travel here and be here and yeah, they, they came in numbers. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, well he was. Pats was, <laughs> he was with, with his Rangers links and uh, I was more than happy for him to take it. I, I like the lads that stand up. Pats has got some character. He's a good lad and it was uh, he's nicely competitive and he showed that. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, you know, uh, good. I think Pats is, <clears throat> is, um, was, in, was, in, was really, really good for us at the start of the season in his form. Um, and then he got an unfortunate injury playing with Scotland. And since he's come back in, he's still finding his feet a bit to get to those levels. And as a young player, that's pretty normal. So he needs to push on now. I thought he did well in bits today. A couple of bits he can be a bit cleaner on, you know, defensively, I think, in, in moments. But... He's a really good player for us. He's a real, real good outlet on the sides. His defensive game is good as well. So, um, saw some good signs there today. Yeah. 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 Well, this is what Pats was. I think you know. I, I was always confident in his attack inside of his game. But as a young player, I wanted to see him defensively at the start of the season. His defensive game was spot on, and and I think he needs to really focus on that side of it. And uh, and today a challenge was put put to him. A player that's got a lot of ability can go either way on you. And I thought he defended him pretty well in general. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. When I, when I was at Chelsea, I wanted to, to bring Hartley to Chelsea as a 
as a number two as such at the time because I, I, I was sure that his professionalism, uh, quality as a goalkeeper and, and rub off on the players and the group would have been a good thing. So I understand why he's done so well at Celtic. He's a top-class goalkeeper and a top-class lad. So I'm really pleased to see him do well. Well, it would depend on what he, what he wants because it's, that's um, obviously having, having lived that life myself, I understand that it's, it's much more challenging than playing, and a player has to really buy into that when they pack up. But I think when you look at the development of him, and, and, I'd say that maturity of him, I'm not surprised. He was a mature lad when I was playing with him at City in uh, 2014, whatever it was. Uh, and with England, and he's he's continued with that, and I think that's credit that's credit to to rub off to be to move the clubs he has done in the end part of his career, and sometimes not be starting but still be a good influence, and then to go to so and start and play at a high level, I think is, is proof of the character of him as, as well as his quality. Looking to Wednesday against Western City, what are you looking to get out of match day? Um, I think similar to today, we'll have another couple of days here to acclimatise. I want to see individuals keep improving their game. Things like Isaac playing well today is great. Um, we need to do a little bit of a body count. We're a bit short in terms of the injuries that we've had. So we'll do that in the meantime. Enjoy Australia a little bit. Enjoy Sydney a little bit and uh, be ready for a competitive match. Have you seen much of their football or you have a bit of a look the next couple of days? In the next couple of days. I've spoken with our analyst who's been working on them and seeing them, seeing them play. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look over the next couple of days.